Gemini. This is Miss again. This is your love reading for July 2020. This will not resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest behind. Energies are fluid. This could be your energy. This could be your partner's energy. This could also be male or female. That can be vice versa. Okay, let's get some general messages here from the moon goddess oracle. We have nourishment. All relationships require nourishment. Seventh shows potential. So you do have potential in this connection, whether this is somebody you're interested in or a current commitment that you have. But all relationships require nourishment. Let's get another card. Growth. This goes perfect with this card. With nourishing a connection, it has the potential to grow and really grow abundantly. And we also have believe in the impossible. So you might be in a situation where you feel as though something is stagnant, that there is no possible way that this connection can work out. But the universe is saying that through nourishing it, it has the potential to grow exponentially. And you have to believe in it cast out all that self-doubt and believe in the impossible. So we're going to go ahead and get some cards here. Ace of Pentacles. This is planting that seed. This is what I'm talking about over here. A seed has been planted. You may think it's impossible for it to go anywhere, but the seed's been planted. This is a golden opportunity in love. Crossed by the star. Okay, so what we have here is somebody losing hope, but the, this is divinely guided. There is hope. There is, this is, feels like it's like destiny. This is wish fulfillment. And we have the high priestess in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who's not trusting their inner guidance. This is somebody who's not trusting their instincts. This is not tapping into that intuition. I think intuitively you know this is the right connection. But maybe perhaps some past interference may have caused you to doubt. Because in the past, we have someone who may have been emotionally unavailable. Maybe this is the same person. But now it feels like this person may be ready. King of Wands reversed. So what you're thinking, what's on your mind, what you believe is that there's no action. I think this is one of the same person. This is fire and water, okay? The, and this is air in fire, air and water. There's a lot going on in the mind. I feel as though that your mind is telling you things that is putting self-doubt in. And there is a need to find that confidence, find that courage within. Two of Pentacles in the near future. This is somebody who's juggling, who's going back and forth. So I do feel as though 
you keep going back and forth. Yes, this is the right connection. No, this isn't. Yes, it is. No, it's, it isn't. Because there is a lack of faith. There is a lack of trust. There is this sense of self-doubt. You think this king is not ready to make a move. But I feel this is just in your mind because you're not trusting your instinct. You're not trusting your intuition. Deep down, you know it is. King of Swords, another king. This is somebody who's very analytical. I think that this is somebody you are in your up in your head and this is your energy as well, Gemini. This is air. This is you being up in your head and over analyzing. The environment is indicative of moving forward into calmer waters, moving forward into a better place. So this is definitely saying to me that things are moving forward. Now, this is air. Air is usually swift moving, but it's kind of stuck in water. Water rowing a boat is slower than driving a car. Okay? So I do feel it is moving forward maybe not as fast as you want and with the advice card spirit is saying this is a chance to build a solid foundation this is a chance to build a family legacy i feel as though that this is something that is going to be long standing this is going to be a long-term commitment my friend and i'm seeing the dog here dogs are representative of loyalty and trust faithfulness and that is what your issue is right now your issue is trust your issue is having faith in the process you're losing hope but I'm here to tell you that this is a solid connection that is going to be moving forward And then we have the arrows of love flying here. So, yes, this is communication. This is fast moving energy. It feels like by the end of July, things are really going to pick up. And we have tempers reversed as the card underneath. So what I feel here is we have a card here of balance and we have a card here of balance. Even the star card is balancing out energies. You are coming across as someone who is a little bit out of balance. There may be some emotional withdrawal. This may be you who is emotionally withdrawn because you cannot see at the moment the potential of this connection. And by you holding back, by you holding back your own emotions, the person that you are dealing with may be doing the same thing. Now, when I say kings, this could be a queen, a female with these masculine qualities. This is a leader and somebody it is turned upside down and which is indicating somebody is not taking the lead. Somebody's taking the back seat. Somebody's sitting back and just waiting and waiting and waiting. And this waiting period has you in a space of imbalance. And I do feel, again, that you are really caught up in your head. You need to get out of your head space and into your heart space. Yes, into that heart space. So I am actually going to draw a couple more cards because I want to know why you are so hesitant in this connection. Why is Gemini so hesitant here? Why are they holding back? Queen of Wands, 
has to do with confidence, has to do with independence. There might be an ego here. This might be a case of, I'm not chasing him, I'm not going after him or her, I'm not chasing her. And you're sitting there waiting for them to chase after you. They may have the same idea. They're seems to be maybe even a battle of ego here between the two of you that is leaving you hanging in there just hanging there not moving forward being stand still and the universe is calling you to, to look at it at a different perspective and here we have another we have all four kings on the table that is very rare that is telling me that there is a need to take control. There is a need to take action. Kings take action. Kings are the leader. You have two upright and two reversed. There, that is about balance, balancing out the energies. You need to find that balance within yourself and find that confidence to do the initiation. I feel like you are going to be the one that's gonna to have to initiate this connection. You're the one that's going to have to take the next step. Because what do we have over here? We have nourishing. If you're just sitting back doing nothing that is not nourishing, that's not helping it to grow, you plant a flower it's not going to bloom. It's not going to grow unless you water it. And that's exactly what this is about. You have to water this. You have to nourish this connection. And it's going to grow and blow up into something really big, really long standing, long term. You're going to be able to build a foundation here. We'll get a couple of Norman cards here. We have the tower. The tower talks about doing it alone. The tower could also be indication of work. The clouds, little bit of confusion. And then we have the path, the crossroads. This is like a bridge here. It's being, this is about building that bridge. The clouds are looking at that bridge and somebody is hesitant to cross that bridge. Somebody's a little bit confused and caught up in their head. They, you may have been single for a while or they have been single. The lady. If you are a man, which I feel like that there is a male watching this, you've been single for a while and then this love connection comes about and has you feeling confused and there is this bridge that's leading to the heart of this lady and the universe is coaxing you to cross that bridge. Love awaits if you are the woman. It's not a time to sit still and wait either. The woman crosses the bridge. Okay. And I'm going to finish this read off with a card from the Romance Angels. You deserve love. You are lovable. So the plot gets thicker. Perhaps you're not making that move because you feel like you're unlovable. That emotional detachment. Seek 
sitting on your butt and not taking action as a result of not feeling lovable. We have past life relationship. So this connection is an old connection from a past life. And under the deck, we have make the effort. This is what I've been saying all along. Make the effort, nourish this connection, let it grow. Take some action. Stop sitting there and waiting. You can wait there for a long time. You have to show some initiative, some effort to that other person. And that other person is going to reciprocate. Okay, so this is what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you find this helpful. Please do make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment. I love you all, and I will see you in the next video.